In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create the lock tone stabilization effect, an effect that locks into your subject something like that. It's an effect that we've seen in many commercials and an effect that we also saw in this channel, how you can do it by using a plugin. Now, this time, we're not going to use any plugin, we're going to do it inside Final Cut Pro. Welcome to my channel, I'm Emilio and let's go inside Final Cut Pro. We are in the Final Cut Pro and let's go and see how we can do the lockdown stabilization effect really quick and really simply. First, we have the clip that we want to create this effect. Let's check it out how it is before the effect. As you can see, the footage is stable and the runner is running up and down, up and down. So the first thing that we want to do is to go into the inspector panel on the right and go where it says trackers. We're going to click on that. We're going to select the portion that we want to track. In this case, it's the eyes and the ear right here. And we will select the machine learning on the analysis method. And then we will click next to analyze or the analyze in both directions. But because we're in the beginning, we're going to click analyze to the right. It's analyzing. Perfect, we click done and what we want to do now is to go to the inspector panel, go to scale all and place minus 100%. Now, next step, we're going to take this press option in our keyboard so we can duplicate it and place it on top. Then we will select this, we're going to click on the transform box and we're going to select the object tracker, the tracker that we did below and then click done. And now, as you will see, I will play, you will see that it's starting to doing this animation. So I'm going to go here with my mouse and I'm going to remember that this is an opposite direction. So I'm going to bring it to the left so I can zoom in and adjust the X and Y axis. So I don't see these black empty spaces on the side. I have to zoom in a little bit more. And as you can see, simply as that, we have the locked on stabilization effect to the face. This was the method with the machine learning. This method works for some scenarios, but doesn't work for some others. So you can also do that with a more traditional way. And for that, I have a link in the description of this video down below from my friend Cody, Cody Warner, who showed in the past how to do that inside Final Cut Pro. And also it's gonna be here or here in the screen so you can click it and go there. I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new today. And if you did, don't forget to do all this great, amazing YouTube stuff like this video. If you have any questions or you just want to say hi, I'm waiting you in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio and I will see you in the next video.